stronger infrastructure for our city and enhance the quality of life for our citizens. Every day. Visit Tate Branch Auto Group today, either in person or online, because when it comes to supporting the Bulldogs, we're all in. Tate Branch Auto Group, revving up the Bulldog pride. Go Bulldogs! Welcome back to the Tate Branch Fan of the Week segment and our last segment for this uh, football season, the 2023 football season, as it is state championship Saturday and probably the game in New Mexico is being played at the Bulldog Bowl right now between the Bulldogs and the Coyotes. And we saved the best for last. That's what Perry told me to say. Uh, Tara Sexton is our Fan of the Week. Tara, thanks for doing this. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, well, now we're going to find out that Tara knows a little bit about the coach of the Bulldogs, but uh, first First of all, let's find out a little bit about yourself. You're part of a well-known family here in Artesia. Yes. So I was born and raised here, um, graduated from Artesia High School in 2002. Um, I was the band drum major my senior year, so still out on the football field, a little bit different way. Um, and moved, went off to school, moved back in 2010, and currently raising three little bulldogs um, to carry on the tradition and um, working here at uh, ZenCare Family Wellness Center. Excellent. So you're from Artesia, you went to high school, you were in the band. Um, how many people told you that they went to the football games just to see the band? Um, not many. So <laughs> I had a little fan group in the reserve section right behind me and they would always um, give me a little extra cheers. But um, but yeah, mostly we were there for football, but right. that was okay. That, that was okay. So where'd you go to college? I did most of my undergrad at Lubbock Christian University and then finished up at University of North Texas and then went to University of St. Francis for medical school. That's exciting. Did you always know you were going to get into the medical field or did you make a couple of changes along the way? So that was my original plan. I was a little bitty and would tell my parents I was going to be a baby doctor playing with my babies. Um, somewhere along the way thought I might be an architect but I'm terrible at math and so that went out the window really quickly um, and led me back to medicine. And then what brought you back to Artesia, or did you always plan to come back to Artesia? So I was actually voted most likely to live in Artesia forever in the yearbook. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I mean, my family's been here since 1950. I love the community, love everything that it stands for, love the school system and all the support they get, and it's just where I wanted to be. Now, you had some, uh, I know you had at least one brother. Who, who'd you I grow do. up with? I have one brother. His name is Jeremy Maupin. You may have heard of him. Maybe has a little bit to do with what's going on today. Um, and then two younger sisters who both now live here as well. Uh, my sister Julie is a dental hygienist and Jamie uh, works in human resources for Yates Legacy. Okay, and so you were probably pretty excited. Now, were you like your dad and go all in on the Los Lunas clothes when Jeremy was over there? We did. We did. We went blue and orange, and it was really awkward to get rid of all of them when Jeremy came back, but man, we were glad he was. But we did. We went up there to the games. We watched as many as we could. We traveled um, with him like we do here, um, you know, just trying to support. And, and that was, a, you know, it was a good experience for him. We hated to, to lose him and are super glad when he came back, but it was a good experience um, for him, for all of us, you know, just to kind of step outside Artesia a little bit, um, I know he learned a lot as far as coaching style and things like that. So it was a good experience. Good. What, what is, uh, does Jeremy have any, I know this is about you, but does he have any quirks or any uh, game week uh, oddities that we should know about? So I don't really get to talk to Jeremy much from August to this weekend. <laughs> and then after that, we get to catch up. Yeah. Um, no, you know, he, he, um, sometimes as a man of few words um he you know i think instills a lot of confidence um in his players and the community he spends a lot of time with the booster clubs with the the moms on monday nights and then the quarterback dads on tuesday nights goes through film you know breaks it down teaching parents and community members about what's happening on the football field you know talks about the next opponent things they're doing um he's a big traditions guy too you know even though he's bringing his own coaching style you know he's keeping up so many of the amazing artesia traditions and so so um, yeah, he's he's doing a good job. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job. I think he's also 
I don't know if he says this or not, but I think he's kind of responsible for our superintendent being here. So He is. So they are just precious. Um, Darian and Tony Jaramillo. So they were coaching. Uh, Coach Jaramillo was coaching at Las Lunas with him. And when Jeremy told him he was coming down here, he said, man, coach, I don't want to coach for anybody else. We'll follow you. And here they came. And so we just kind of adopted them. They're part of our family now. Um, they've been a great asset to Artesia. So, yeah, another blessing that came from Las Lunas. So. That's, that's right. There, there are some. So what uh, you get to travel around, you've seen them, uh, you watch your brother, you've watched, of course, you've mentioned you got your three little ones that are coming up. What is it that you really like about going to Bulldog football games? What, what's uh, exciting about that for you? So I think more recently with kids, it's watching their joy, you know, the, the dog pile and, you know, um, both of my kids before they were in kindergarten could sing every word of the alma mater. I mean, they just, there's so much joy there and they just, they get hyped up and they love it. And, and then, you know, being down there, their uncle down there too, it's even more special, um, you know, that we get to experience that with him. And so I just love all the, you know, all the positivity that it brings and all the, the fun and all just, just the happiness that's involved with it. Now, you know, losing isn't always that happy, but next week we still come out and everybody's excited and, you know, here we go again, which I think is, you know, another good thing to teach, teach kiddos that, you know, you can come back from, you know, from the losses and things like that. Sure. Now you said you got three little kids. Uh, uh, what are they going to play? So, um, <laughs> football. football. Um, so my, my oldest, um, Brooks, is 12 and so far appears to be carrying on the Maupin quarterback tradition. Um, and sporting the uh, traditional Maupin number 12. Oh. Um, he played City League. He just finished up his second year of City League tackle football. And then my middle son is 10 and looks like probably going to be wide receiver. Um, and so lots of sexton to sexton passes happening, which is super fun for me. And then my daughter is seven and so far is absolutely in love with every cheerleader on the track. So most likely we'll probably follow those routes, <laughs> at least for now. That's great. Well, I know when uh, when your brother graduated, uh, we were all saying, well, that's it for the Moppins until the next group of Moppins come yeah. along. And that's what uh, what you're talking about there, which is which is fantastic. Is there a particular game that you remember going to either as a member of the band or watching your brother play or coach or whatever that kind of sticks out in your mind? Um, so there's a few. Um, my senior year, we won the state championship up at St. Pius, and that was a really fun one. Um, Jeremy's senior year, we won actually here, um, and his is the last year, which I could be wrong, this is just my memory. His is the last year I remember we had all three playoff games here, and that would have been in 2004. And we had all three here, and that was a blast. Um, last year was quite adventurous. Um, we went up to Farmington, and we decided we were going to leave Thursday after Thanksgiving dinner and to space it out for the kids. Um, and we got stranded in Vaughn. Oh. I mean, totally stranded in the Alsop's parking lot, couldn't move an inch. And we happened to remember that some of our dear friends here had um, some relatives who live in Vaughn, and so we called them. They came and dug us out and drove us to their house, and all 10 of us, so it was, it was my family and then my parents and then Jeremy's wife and two girls, they, we traveled with them. And all 10 of us slept on their floor that night and then got up and went on to, to Piedra Vista for the game, so that was a fun one. And then, of course, that was his first win since he's been back here as head coach, so that was a really special one, too. Well, I, I'm also a uh, veteran of being stuck in Vaughn in a snowstorm, and uh, so I, I know exactly <laughs> what you were going through and all that. Fantastic. Uh, well, it's been a fun season, and you've got some little moppins coming yes. along, or te sextons, yes. and uh, I, I know you're really excited about how this season is going to finish out and being a fan. We have a couple of prizes for oh, you. Great. We have from the Adobe Rose... A, this is a $50 gift card. I've seen the receipt. So uh, you can take that with your family and enjoy that. And then we have one of these very special Tate Branch Fan of the Week Bulldog Orange mugs yes. present to you. And you can uh, use that proudly at, uh, at your office and uh, wherever. But thank you so much for doing this. Yes, thank you for having me. We're excited for the game. And um, go Bulldogs, as always. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to say. Nice. And it just kind of comes out naturally yeah, around here, it doesn't does. it? Yeah. Uh, thanks to Perry and Tate for doing this segment with us again this year. Can't wait till we can do this again next year. And stick around. The second half is coming up.
in at Sun Country Home and Garden Center in Artesia. Mums, pansies, flowering kale, and more, providing color over the winter into spring. Did you know that fall is a great time to plant cold, sturdy trees and shrubs? The cooler weather makes transplanting less stressful for the plant, and they'll grow great in the spring. Take advantage of the September special. 15% off in-stock perennials, shrubs, roses, and trees. Junipers and pines are 40% off. Sun Country Home and Garden Center, 2707 South 1st Street in Artesia. Happy holidays from H.F. Sinclair. It's the time of the year for family gatherings, travel in Turkey, and holiday celebrations. Everyone at H.F. Sinclair encourages you to celebrate and enjoy the holidays safely. Don't drink and drive. Follow the rules of the road, and most of all, take time to remember the reason for the season. Slow down and take a moment to really enjoy this time of year. From your friends and neighbors at HF Sinclair, proud to be a part of this wonderful community. Welcome back to the Tate Ranch Fan of the Week segment.